right now these are Parker fingerboards. They've actually glued the frets onto this fingerboard and they're cleaning it up after having come out of the press. It's a carbon graphite. It's 20 thousandths thick and they're actually glued on in place very accurately and then they'll be trimmed down and used to put on the guitars. These are the bodies that are prepped and ready to get the veneered. We do the veneering in this room as well. This is our walk-in freezer. This carbon graphite comes in in what's called a pre-pregnated roll where it has all of the epoxy, both parts of the epoxy mixed up and impregnated into carbon glass weave. And we have to keep it frozen when it comes in here or the epoxy will kick over and it'll just be a nice hard roll that we can't use. If we keep it frozen, the epoxy will never react. So it comes into us in these rolls like this and what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll unroll it and cut it into blanks ready to lay onto the bodies. And we keep it all frozen until right before we're ready to use it. Then at the point where all the, the, the neck and the body have been joined, it's all carved out in the back and it's well sanded. This gets laid onto the bodies and then we'll vacuum them into a vacuum bag. Then we have to cook that in these ovens at about 250 degrees. And we actually have to keep the vacuum running the whole time they're in the ovens. So this has got carbon graphite veneer all the way up around the back side of the body, through the neck, up into the peg head. This makes it extremely strong and we keep these guitars very thin and very light. Some of the first operations that we're going to do on this is we'll bring it over to this machine and sand the radius into the fingerboard. And then we'll bring it out over here and do the very last little operations with a hard block by hand. Then we can glue the fingerboards on. This just came out of the press. Now we've cut it down and we've glued it on. And then we'll come over here with this rubber padded form. This makes it dodge the frets so that we're not actually pressing on the frets, but we're pressing on the fingerboard area. And that will actually adhere that fingerboard to that perfectly sanded radius so that when we come out, that whole playing surface is perfectly straight. After they come out of here, they'll trim the edges of the fingerboard exactly straight and move it on down the line to body sand. 